Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome to Disco Elysium. I'm joined today by Lemon. Hello. This was his suggestion. I have heard about this game, as I told you earlier, but I've never actually played it myself. We went through some serious fucking bullshit to get this set up, like you wouldn't believe. I want to say this was a solid three hours of setup. I don't think it was that long. I'm gonna... It was four hours. And as you can see, the face cam might not exactly be, um... Beautiful. Stellar, but look... We've made it work, so you're gonna have to just accept it. I'm gonna get in there, if the game, if my PC allows it. This game has no combat, it is purely dialogue based. Dialogue and exploration. Yes. Frankly, I'm gonna create my own. Yep, good plan. Because I don't like presets. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Okay, so, that way terrible. Oh, that says it's terrible because it's one, I see. Yeah. So, this is going to be a real slow-paced one as I uh, come to grips with everything, but I'll also cut shit out like crazy. So, intellect, psyche, physique, motrix. Um, do you want my opinion on this? Sure. Top two are best two. Intellect and psyche. There are different ways you can use everything but your intellect and your psyche are the ones you use the most and what you'll get the most story and progress for it. Ones are useful but they're much more niche and not used for round. Okay, so what if... What would this lead to? You, I don't think you'd get the most out of the game. Fair. I think I'm going to pick either intellect or psyche to focus in. I don't want to kind of, I kind of want to go one or the other just to, because yeah. I think that creates more of a person. I think either you're going to get a lot of use out of them. I, through my own personal deduction, believe you probably would have invested in psyche. I think in my playthrough I was maxed as much as I could on the top two. And one on the bottom two. It will go five on intellect, mm -hmm. and then three on motrix, and two on the other two. Yeah. We'll see how that works. And now you'll have your specializations. Oh god. <sighs> okay. Expression. So this will. This is you can't adjust your base skills anymore after this point you can get clothing that will increase it for you but you can't physically increase it yourself you can increase the level of lees okay and this is more setting your signature skills are the ones that you'll upgrade easier oh i think drama is do i only get one i think so drama i like it okay Is that all of the creation? Yep. Okay. And now we are going to get the opening. Which you said was uh, interesting. Yeah, this is a very psychologically driven game. There's a lot of heavy concepts, and they don't mince about with the heavy concepts. I see, I see. Well, this ain't made for kids anyway. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. That's good. I love... <laughs> immediately this... <laughs> yeah. Because it's referring to ourselves, I'm assuming. Like, yeah, this is literally our brain having a conversation with us. The basest instincts that your brain is capable of yes due to presumably what you've been doing to yourself yes ever okay <laughs> never ever never ever ever never ever ever baby alright alright <laughs> just gonna keep on non-existing that's me an inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Yes. 
It is. I feel like I already feel like I'm making decisions. What was that about the uh, X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful, a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. So I, I'm guessing that this would be like this line of questioning would be my attempt to understand more about my character, but might be painful. Yeah, painful and or stressful. Nevertheless, I want to know more about the X something. X love, X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of Elagic Zone. Okay. Well, from what I can interpret, in my experience trying to ignore things, especially of this nature, is a poor idea. Yeah. It's a delaying tactic at best, and at worst it's straight up denial. So, no. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Okay. Do you really? Don't be naive, of course not. I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Hey, I don't think do things in halves. Could you shut up? Fools! <laughs> Ruining my craft! What was I saying? Yeah, I drank a lot. What's your deal? Inland Empire. Easy success. Fear and apprehension. You should ask yourself. Or you should ask what's out there first. This is a very quick introduction to how the skills work. There's not... There are straight up skill checks, but a lot of them you don't know are there. They just trigger if you can trigger them. So you get these extra little tidbits of information as you yourself are processing what's happening and coming to a conclusion. So at every point the game isn't like, this will be a thing. Like, this will be a this thing until it happens, as it were. There are some explicit skill checks. I guess, like, if you were attempting to perform a specific action. Yes. Like physicality if you wanted to intimidate someone, for instance. Yes, yeah, exactly. These are just you trying to interpret what's happening. Yeah, I guess Inland Empire would refer to your understanding of yourself. Yes. Yeah. I didn't I didn't pick up on that when I saw it in the cre yeah. creator, but now I'm actually looking at it with some context. It makes a lot more sense. Tell me, what's waiting for me? Me? There's this giant ball there, in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. So, people, Earth. Yeah. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Hey, it's been proven by science that it's a ball, okay? We're not getting into this discussion. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. I mean, that's sad. That is sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. Now, most would assume figuratively, but I assume you kind of mean literally. What do you mean drowned? I said, what do you mean drowned? You lost. Oh. <laughs> Good. Encyclopedia, medium success. The sound outside, you recognize it. It's a Kupris Kanima motor carriage. It's hard to sleep through that. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Dignity? What's that? Okay. So it's a point and click. Ah, trousers. First. Take all. Good. 
bottle. Bottle? This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Probably for the best. And um, those are your thought bottles. Thought bottle. Perception hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Fish and out. It says whirling in rags on the alum aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number of one is etched on it. It is presumably my house. Good. If you double click, it will run. That's good. Someone's going to tore the tape out while the song was playing. Hold tab to highlight. Uh, uh, back left trigger. Ah. So that shows me what I can and can't interact with. Yeah. That's good. Look at like this. Rear drill tape player is still on, rolling empty. Okay. What about, what about this thing? Is that a hat? It's shoes! Who hangs up their shoes? It's a shoe. Oh, it's a shoe. Just one. Why do I get the feeling the other shoe is not going to be a green shoe? I did double click. I think he's a bit too um, sourced somewhere. to run right now. At least we got a jacket. Disco ass blazer. Fucking love it. My tie is on there. There it is. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches, one end in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Blades. Savoir faire. You can Grab influence the, the skill check. This is a white By doing other options. Okay. Pull on the fan. Blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier now. See, you get a plus for it. I see, so you can actually do things to affect skill chances that you do not favour. Yeah. Curious. Ah, terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Before we end, turn the lights off, please. And now's not the time to test ourselves. Let's try. Success. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. It says a lot about this guy that he only had an 83% chance to grab a fully stationary object. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it gives you it's a nice little bit of, um, uh, was it, showing about telling, where you get an idea for how fucked he is. If this wasn't enough. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. Assess the damage. What? Okay, I guess I could just do it. Success. The, fa the shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling back a tool back in after impact. So you can go as deep as you want. Suppose I shall, even though I think I know um, what happened. You drunkenly threw something out the window. Mm hmm. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Maybe my character can do it to practice. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. A single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. Oh, it would also have been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go. Cool wind gushes in, your, toe, your toes curl up from the cold. Ah. Well, we have to get out of here first, but there's more things to see. Yep. See? Hey, is that a... I think that's just the massive tape that you've already... Is that the thing? Oh no, it's the room. Ah. Uh, empty cassette case. I'm sure this will become very handy. I didn't want to look... I left the tap on as well. Fuck. See bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquors. How much does this guy get through? I'll take the shirt. White satin shirt. Let's look in the mirror as little as we want to. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. 
Conceptualization challenging success. So that's good. Was this not the same Elan that founds empires and lays waste to cities, virile, uncaring towards the little things? I don't get it. It's just conceptualization is just making shit up from what you've seen. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter how much it makes sense in regards to what you're looking at, it's just what it could be. So would it be incredibly stupid or be hilarious? To have specialised in conceptualization. Yeah. Right. That's tempting. But it's useful as well. It's like figuring out. And then logic, of course, brings it home. Probably, Probably not, not, no. <laughs> so if you have a com com uh, combination of conceptualization and logic, you can be a not crazy person. Yeah. But if you have high conceptualization and nothing else, although to be fair, these are both based off intellect, are they not? Yeah. So you couldn't really have a one big and one small. No. Unless something happens in the game that modifies your stats in such a way. I need clothing. I see. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just a vague impression of a man. Just I like our yep. thing down here. Suddenly you realise you have no memory of the face that awaits you there beneath the soft vapour. Really? Nothing? Really? All the recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in is drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no near might of, not night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. I think... Oh, let's wipe the mirror. I don't think we're going to like what we see, though. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror... Abort! You've clearly not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. I mean, we'd see our face eventually. The world has windows, someone else has a mirror that mm -hmm. they haven't left the hot tap on. It's time to, time to face it. I mean, I've seen worse. I've been worse. <laughs> Having said that, down there it's a bit of a different story. <laughs> yeah. That's rough. Bro, if you just grew a normal beard, like a normal full beard, or shaved it all off, in fact, if he went bald as well, I feel like that'd solve a lot of his problems. Yeah. Just, you know, well, good for you, pal. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Of course I do. It's uh, some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're all so dead. There's clear rigor mortis on your face. Or, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? think it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop, it's horrible, you're scaring yourself. Nah, no, this is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. That's... Parents were right, man. Keep it, wind changed. Yeah. It stays. Your face will just stay that way. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? It's an expression of pain. It's an expression of pain. <laughs> it's indescribable. Um, oh, this is the hardest decision I've had to make so far. <laughs> I don't even think it means that much. If I was to be serious with myself for a moment, probably four. Insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. There might have been, ten years ago. It's a little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Oh my god, electrochemistry attempts to stop the expression from happening. <laughs> Very low. Cyclopedia, formidable. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Let's give it a go. Success. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate cont uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Disco happened. Disco or daco? For Revacol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Le Million. Guillaume, Guillaume. Him! That. Yeah. 
Le million. Let's just say it. Le million. We'll go with that. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. I feel attacked. I also feel slightly assaulted. <laughs> Guillaume le million. Guillaume le million. Okay, so there's a bit of a French tinge to it, as you could have guessed. Yeah. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open where open air boy de boy de nu boy de nu boy de noir. Somewhere in Remacol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's original mega hit, Don't Worry Your Pretty Little Head. So I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the Grimace remains. Damn you, Grimace. <laughs> How long ago was the new? ironically. Some 20 odd years, there is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression of looking good on you. Or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Anything else? Who am I? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness, aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a cuprous kinema. Well, I suppose that's it then, isn't it, really? Include. Thought gained. Guillaume le million. <laughs> you can attempt it. The question is how? How would I attempt it? It's a weight check. So how weight checks work is if you put a point into that skill when you level up, you can reattempt any skill check associated with that that you've already failed. I suppose. Yeah, I suppose we may as well try. Three percent is better than two percent. It's true, I've made better shots on XCOM. Shocking. Truly, I am shocked. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Well, time to lean into it, I suppose. She's locked. Oh, okay, that's what that noise is. Could have been anything. Could have been a Lovecraftian terror. Or me. You are a Lovecraftian terror. Yeah, I basically said the same thing twice. Come on there, fella. Let's get you out of here. You need fresh air, maybe. Or it might kill you. It'll do something. We know that much. And now I can run. That's good. Let's have a look at this thing. What day is it today? The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Non specific. Hello, ma'am. Hello, officer. Fucking hell. Clage Miss Orange Disco Dancer. I don't know half the words I read at this point. <laughs> I don't know what inflection each word requires either. It's difficult. It's heavy. It's difficult to LP. Not that I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it's hard because I have to read shit, like, out loud. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Hello. Easy success. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. See, that's an easy one, but that feels quite an impressive thing to immediately just can't be older than 28. Yeah. But then again, maybe I'm just not very good at that as a person. Conceptualization challenge. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the sea. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? No. <laughs> Shakes her head slowly. Conceptualations. Officer. Could be an artistic statement. You're already prone to those. Officer is my stage name, right? I can see myself as a middling disco artist called The Officer. No. You're a police officer, sir. Shitting me. No way. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Fair. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. I didn't know that excessive drinking was official police business. What business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. There it is. <laughs> it's official. He's got paperwork for it. I drank on the, to on the clock, which makes it official. 
You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that immediately. I'm already doing the expression. I couldn't get it off. <laughs> and I'm not going to get her off either. I might not know where I am or who I am. Or... Why don't I remember being a cop? This feels like the most pertinent question. Could it be because of the drinking? Raises an eyebrow. Cigarette sizzles. Well, who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Don't, they, don't be so harsh on yourself. I thought almost anyone would be a police officer. Okay. I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a Kupri Kanima is, or how I know what one sounds like. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? That's... Uh, what's my case? <laughs> she takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body's been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. I should go. I'm not going to try the suggestion. I don't care. <laughs> She's clearly not interested. We are an old, smelly man. On the cusp of death. On the cusp of death with, at the very least, short-term amnesia. Probably long-term amnesia as well. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. I imagine they'd like them even less if I tried it on. Thanks, ma'am. Reaction speed. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. There is, like, as you can see, they like, use speech marks. So you, you've got, what if I don't want to ask questions, which is a thought to yourself. Ah, and then the speech, the speech quotes means I would be saying it to her, yes. or saying it out loud in whatever context. Yeah. What if I don't Just so you don't think it's weird that that's what you're asking her. Yeah, I'm not asking her what if I don't want to ask questions, I'm asking myself. If, yeah. I mean, I feel like if, you know, reaction, it feels like there's a reason, but I feel that felt pretty final, and I don't think she knows much more. What if I don't want to? You're a cop, Harry. It is unnatural of you not to, not to want to ask questions. Okay, well, I have some questions mm. before you go. What is it that they have against the police here? If I'm anything to go by, we must be a properly solid force like you know yeah and we don't use the word force it's considered too aggressive in the service the dock workers are pretty cocky I was worried I'd kick the fucking keyboard they think they're police enough at least here on the coast I can't say about the rest of the sea where exactly is here you know you're in a hostel sir no where are we where in the world is Carmen San Diego? We are in Ravikol. That also means very little to me. But unfortunately, I have an encyclopedic knowledge. Ravikol is the disgraced former capital of the world. Divided into zones of control under foreign occupation, half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Ravikol. Ravikol parties. Ravikol goes hard. I go harder than anyone. Has anyone else had a full life amnesia? No? Then shut up. Tell me, is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. And what's that? Well, should I, should we do this differently now? You read their responses, I'll read my. Yeah. Thing. We'll do reverse stream daddy, because at the moment, I'm literally LPing it by myself. I know, I didn't know where to jump in. I, I felt bad, because there were moments where you were going to jump in, and then you didn't, because you knew I was about to keep reading. Yeah. So I was like, I guess I'll keep reading. We'll do it that way. And what's that? What number? Centuries don't have numbers, they have names. And this is the current one. <laughs> How many centuries have there been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I'd say what's so funny, but what's the point in calling her out on that? I mean, you are the pathetic one in this conversation. Yeah, <laughs> I really am. She's allowed to laugh at me. Tell me something else. Um, your room is next to mine. Did you hear anything? I'm sure you did. There was the usual rus- ruckus, loud disco music. Did I have visitors? If I can click on it? I couldn't say. It's possible to hear people speaking from over there. She nods towards room number three. Loud disco music? Oh yes, various artists, ostentatious orchestrations, prime among them. Raises an eyebrow, waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, oh that, yeah. Oof, less said about ooh, the better. Ooh, were huge where I come from. I was very young then. Of course, like seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how the song went. Unless it just gets hard, doesn't it? It would appear so. Around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. Ma'am, disco doesn't stop. What happened? <laughs> a slow, sad song started playing, like organ music, on repeat. That on that went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Oh, was it good? <laughs> was I singing this? Show the empty case of the smallest church in Saint Psalms. Yes, there was a church in there, a really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. Good. It was about that, and also... What else? That it doesn't matter anymore, and that we are alone now. (laughs) It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. (laughs) It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. When you... When... When you say wounded, do you mean that in a, in a cool way, you know, like a, like a wild beast? Yes, it was very cool. Thank you. I like her. She spared my feelings. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or really means it. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. <laughs> That's so me. What did I do? A window was smashed, the tape player properly, the song stopped, and the furniture too. A real destructive on. They were screaming, then I think you passed out. Well, well I mean, did you see my shoe? Did you see it? It's somewhere around here, I gotta find it. I've only got one shoe. Literally, he's wearing a brown sock. Was there anything else? There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. To be fair, I think he's managed to achieve the one thing that extremely heavy drinkers want, and that is to have a complete fucking memory wipe. Start again. (laughs) I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet then, around four or five, and that was it. Okay, you can go now. I'm police. Glad to have been of assistance. You were. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe we can fish for cigarette. Am I doing that? Yeah, right trigger is uh, auto save. Well, it's, that's not an auto save then, is it? Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. That's how you know people want to talk to you. Um. Right bumper and left bumper, assuming and zoom out. Oh, that helps. <laughs> and, and scrolling as well. They do scroll in uh, conversations. Oh, okay. Wait, so this is where we came from. That was my room. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can't just go into other people's rooms. No. We've got to look for your shoe. Oh, yes. The balcony. The sack on the table, though. Stepan Kedra, 9 degrees centigrade, and a front. That's the radio. Money! I'm going to buy a nice tall bottle of Bud Light now. Interesting. I am... Interested. (laughs) Mostly confused, but interested. 
that's Disco Elysium, my boy. A whole lot of confusion, and at some point, you just go with it. Or die. Or die. <laughs> Soon that's also a possibility. My shoe! My computer is struggling to load the splendor. It is. I have a thought bubble. Oh, I have the thought bubble. Thought bubble. Thought. Wait. Uh, uh. Can I do that? Gust of briny wind washes over you. Thank you for the thought. I got my shoes. Yes. Does that affect me? Yeah, so they all. You can see on the left a rundown of everything. Oh, okay. So I've got plus one to conceptualization, inland empire, minus one to suggestion, plus one to esprit de corps, plus one to electrochemistry, minus two to suave affair, and plus one to composure. I have two health. Two morale. What's in here? Journal. Find your other shoot. Well, I fucking did it, didn't I? Stupid. Dummy. And this is your fault, Captain. Oof. Wait. The, the one more door? When did I get this? Or have I got this? You haven't uh, got that. Well, why are you giving me information about it again? Well, it glommed me like a more. Temporary research bonus, minus one logic. <laughs> okay. Whatever happened to Galam Le Million, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation? While you suffered and suffered, did he de dematerialize in a cloud of cocaine dust, or did dust, or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines of some starlit boy de nuit, boy de nuit, boy de nuit, about twenty years ago? Spare a thought for his great ass too. Or oh, wait, maybe he became a police officer in Rivercore West. Hmm. Are you Galam Le Million? I'm pretty sure I am. So you can choose to internalize it and you'll get that temporary detriment. And then after research time, you'll get some sort of bonus. Okay, so well, when I start research, when I uh, when I internalize it, it does re it starts researching? Yes. Which will give me minus one logic due to the head in the clouds. But once the research time has passed... You'll get that minus one logic go away and you'll get sync else from it. Dope. Could be completely useless, or it could be helpful. Or it could be super dope. Yeah. I have another thought. <laughs> Task complete. Find your other shoe. Gained experience. Plus ten. Composure. There they go far. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. These do not look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Do you want me to take any of the thoughts? Yeah. We'll Which ones do you want me to take? If it's hard because some of them are a bit more like what I'm thinking, and some of them They're are quite clearly what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know. But let me finish. Some of them are clearly what I'm thinking, and some of them are clearly conversations with myself. Yeah. I'm currently con conversing with my composure or sense of composure yeah. right now. Um. Blue and purple are the most often ones. How about you take those, at the very least? We'll go with that. Yeah, so I'll take blue and purple. Yes. I am struggling to turn this into a two-person RP. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Good, they're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. We'll figure this out, we'll make it happen. Yeah. I apologise for the first half an hour of this fucking video where you said maybe two sentences. Yeah, it's fine. I'm enjoying myself just getting your experience to this oh. absolutely masterpiece full of game. It is, it's impressive, for sure. I, I will not dispute that. It's such a, such a masterpiece that my PC is having a fucking hernia trying to process it. I was having a thought, but my character lost it. Um. Dum de dum. Oh, no, wait, 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 stop. Stop right there, Sonny Jim. You stop right there. We found something. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Mans. Why is this place French? Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Probably because it's French. And I'm not French. <laughs> You might be French. I might be French, and the reason I can read everything is because it's just a display that our character understands. Also, we might not be French. Might be the only... I guess he's British. Only British person in a French city. 
is a uh, it's not like our world is a separate sort of world yeah so, only a British guy would drink himself into oblivion and look that fucking terrible that is true that we, is true we don't handle it well no, we can we drink don't. a lot but we don't handle it we well we don't handle it well we're in we're in there boys this music's nice yeah see this thing this is where the lyrics would be if I had one <laughs> Big old karaoke mic just wake it, waiting for someone with the expression to sing into it. I think it's me. It might well be you. I think it's me. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course, at this point, precise measurement of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard mm. for a PA system mm. by other people. This goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline, yet yeah, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this fall. See if it works. That's a good idea. Alright. Me. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small chariot song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. I was thinking... <laughs> maybe... <laughs> if I was a superstar, I'm a guy I could sing something happy. Like, from those ostentatious orchest orchestrations, folks. Shocked my character can even say that. N no, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Oh. Sing the sad song. Oh. It's profound. Oh, I feel like we're just self-actualizing the misery now. We might not even be that sad, but we're just so determined to be sad that we are sad. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Oh, what a shame. I guess we'll never do it. Sorry, brain. <laughs> I'll fucking have it, mate. <laughs> As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Cool. So cool. Where's it coming from? From a distant sunset? A stage light? Flash photography? Nowhere in particular? It's just what... Superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. You're a superstar, bro. I'm feeling it. Actually, no. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen, salam, rocky by badass on the edge of disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera. Lights. I feel like I'm going down a bad path. You go down whatever path you want to, baby. Action! A sudden flash, the world freezes around you, and you along with it, in an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. So, I briefly entertained the thought that I might actually be able to delude myself. Then I was like, nah, it's a running joke. And now I'm pretty sure I've actually deluded myself. You can, and you can now internalize the thought that you are, in fact, some kind of superstar. Um, I've got to be honest. <laughs> this might be what I focus on. First, let's make this absolutely clear. No one is saying you're an actual superstar in the groupies and cocaine riddled with hepatitis C, strokes a lioness pose with a mic kind of way. You are not Gilam the Midian or David Lewis. No, you're a metaphorical superstar. Okay. You bring that rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect or want <laughs> to see it. When so where some would say it doesn't belong. Law enforcement. That means that law enforcement is precisely the place where it belongs. Temporary research bonus. Minus two logic. Yeah, Still I'll... seems unlikely. Yeah, well... <laughs> fucking show all of you won't I when I become yeah. a superstar you're not going to take the lesson I can't yet can I you can I've got the cabinets free do I not need 100 XP no that's just your experience is that not to... related to this no 
because you can use the experience points to either level up uh, skill or unlock more chambers for you to internalize more forts. Well, let's fucking do this now then. There you go. Now in an hour and ten minutes, you'll be some kind of superstar. Is that in real time? Game time. Thank God. <laughs> Crap, I didn't mean to do that. I need to get a hold of a sad song on tape. Oof, games are like that. Nope. Alright, well, I'm on. Oof. 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 You can do it. I'm on my way to misery and happiness today. That's all reserved for union members. Doors open, 4 o'clock. It's currently 8.46. Hello, ma'am. I shouldn't assume. Hello, sweetie. Ma'am. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Who the fuck's he? Why should I care? He's best boy. Oh. You're a cool guy and I like you. <laughs> Hang on, what's this? This royal pinball machine is fucked. <laughs> fucking unplugged. <laughs> it's fucking unplugged, didn't it, though? Hey, best boy. Kim Kitsuragi, a spectacled man in an orange bomber jacket, is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Me. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Shake his hand. Why would I not? Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. His grip was firm. Very firm. <laughs> Super firm. You realise he is waiting for your name. This is how we become... a superstar. We need a handle. Fuck. Raphael Ambrosius Custer. <laughs> how cool is it? So cool. Yes, it is. Raphael Ambrosius Costo is one classy name for one classy cop. Say it. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Yes. Well. Doesn't even process what you just said. He just moves on. Not for a moment does he believe that's your real name. He casts it aside as an intra-departmental intra joke or peculiarity he doesn't understand. When I become a superstar, then he'll believe me. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Mm -hmm. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Bitch, have I? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for the two days, but you've been otherwise occupied. I can't imagine. Um, I think you can scroll down with the bumpers to see more. Uh, or maybe you can't. Well, it's good that you told me that, because if we'd been missing options, I'd be sad. Um, no, I haven't, I'm just going to be honest. May as well. Joke. Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is out back, right? I've jerked this guy around enough. <laughs> It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. When you fuck up, you just need to be honest about it. Just be like, look, man. Yeah, and Kim will have your back. I don't know what the fuck you're on about, but I ain't done shit. <laughs> <laughs> have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> No. So the body is still in the tree. Y yeah. <laughs> this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. <laughs> it is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Well, unfortunately, life just doesn't go the way we want it to sometimes. Why do you think I drank for a week? Huh? Little man? Answer the question. <laughs> Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. How honest you want to be with him? I mean, I am a police officer, I just don't remember. Yeah. But people have told me I'm a police officer, I know. But I can't remember anything. Hmm. He looks at you for a moment, 
in silence. I can see you drank last night, and the night before, and that you are still drunk now, but I've seen officers go through much worse. Much worse. Damn, Kim, you're a fucking beacon amongst this shithole. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby, but as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. He's right. He's right. I'm pretty sure that is the last option, yeah. yeah. Let's go get that body, then let's go get some fucking paracetamol. After you, officer. Thank you. You. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? <laughs> I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge to be missing. I advise you try to locate it as quickly as possible, but getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay. He's now in my party, much to his own dismay. <laughs> dismay slash regret slash disappointment. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. I assume he's standing in front of where the body is. No, the body's outside, but you can still talk to the manager first if you want to. Ah, oh, the manager, the guy at the. I assume the guy at the desk will find out. Go on, Kim. We got <coughs> crimes to solve. We have got crimes to solve. Hey there, how many crimes have you done in your life, Gart? The cafeteria manager. A man in his late twenties with a thin, unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. I'd like to point out that this is a thin and unimpressive beard, it's just his is more thin and more unimpressive, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna lord it over him. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it me. I manager. He's not the manager, he doesn't even work here. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41. He looks at you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. I mean, I feel like I gotta lean into it now. I am Detective Rafael Ambrosius Costa. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Yeah, that's good then, isn't it? Mighty fine. That's very good. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. How often in any game along these kind of lines do you go up to him and be like, uh, did you play school? Nah, it was some it was some person. Oh, do you have their number? Yeah, here you go. Not like, oh, I'd love to give you the number, but I require coffee first. Go fetch me coffee. Go across the street to get a coffee. Go there. Oh, we'd love to give you a coffee, but the machine is broken. Please steal one from the hospital. Go to the hospital. We'd love to let you steal the coffee machine. But we need the number of the person who was at the store before. You're like, ah. Oh, yeah. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? In Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. <coughs> this is just one of the many, many cafeterias. <coughs> Bless you. I'm allergic to snobbery. Oh, you'll be sneezing a lot. <laughs> Shit. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I'm not your fucking boss, mate. <laughs> I don't care where you work. I didn't imply that. Detective? Yes? I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, you mean do I have questions? <laughs> it's, it's a little fiddly. Yes, yes. He means do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. The cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again. Well, I'm going to do my utmost to agitate him as much as I physically can. No, you need to turn him into a supervan. Because you are 
A superstar. He thinks, he thinks you're stupid, sire. <sighs> Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Interesting. So you actually have to approach the um, order of your questions carefully. Yes. Ask him about it before asking if he killed him. So where exactly is the body, good sir? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Oh, hoist. 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 No further questions. How do you get up there? <laughs> That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that, and to your right you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys, the hole is big enough for the Francon Nigerian cavalry to fit through. You're probably right if Franco, I know they... Franco Nigerian. Ah, oh, good one. There we go. It makes more sense the second time looking at it. So I'm getting the impression that I should go through three and then four before going back to two. Because I feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah. get more information and then be like, who killed him? Maybe you killed him. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. I thought she went away because of that look, bitch look on your face. Weak chin, motherfucker. Weak chin, man, bitch. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Am I not a cop? Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back and because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Ha! You asked for a number and she was like, Fuck that, dork. The lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank you, he says. <laughs> Both of these feel mean. Fuck it. Ask more questions. Didn't go well? I asked an employee out. She didn't want to cut him, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now what is so goddamn fascinating about that feud has <laughs> got nothing to do with the lynching. Well, your misery <laughs> fuels me. Um, I'm, I, I like to be thorough. Good for you. Was well, there something else? I'd like to go back to what I was doing. Are you... the bartender? That's a hard question. No. <laughs> I am not the bartender. I am the cafeteria manager. You look like a bartender. That period of my life <laughs> is over. Not everyone who stands behind the counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three, three <laughs> cafeterias three. I manage. Three. Get over it. So, uh, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Ah, I'm damn the it. cafeteria manager. <laughs> I'm the cafeteria manager. I suppose it is. This is it. He said Lay hoisted up on a tree. Who is this Lay if he doesn't know? Before you said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who do you mean by they? And hoist! Oh, he's a bit surprised you caught that. People are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. He did use the word lynching before we called him out. Mm -hmm. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Ah. Did the debardeurs themselves Dibble. tell her this? Or is it a room? I don't really know. You have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. Well, fuck, I was expecting a little more than that. You mean the strike? Ah. Yes, the strike. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers. 
The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbour company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionistas probably thought they'd send a message. Well, I don't think there's much point saying, did you kill him? Because we just got him to spill the beans. Mm. So... But then again, I don't like him. Did you kill him? What are you? Crazy. Of course I didn't kill him. Oh, you didn't kill him? Did you hoist him? I don't like that use of language, <laughs> sir. Did you give him a good hoist? My cafeteria managed him. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a 15 minute break. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. That's all. Oh, Let's okay. go. Hey, Kim. We're a good team. Not so fast. He points to you. You owe me 130 real. <laughs> What's real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. He pronounces the R with a mock aristocratic accent. Which is funny considering his entire voice is a mockable aristocratic accent. That is very true. The IIR, or inter interisolary real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. By real, do you mean some form of street cred? No, you don't owe me street cred, you owe me money. <laughs> Big fat hard cash. You owe this establishment 130 real. He points to the red ledger on the counter. You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. That's not only would it not work, but Oh, I really want to though. It's your playthrough, my dude. Mm, it is. I don't like having this level of freedom. <laughs> Or a superstar cop. No one tells a superstar cop what to think. What exactly is money? What are you? A philosopher? Since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concepts of reality. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, he peeks into the ledger, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Interesting. Interesting. Where do I... Where... Where do I get it from? Are you... Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, oh, I guess. What? He looks at the lieutenant. I'm sorry. I don't think cops take bribes. But you just said you did. Some do take recompense. The lieutenant is dead serious. But I need to survive. <laughs> Why do I need it? Why? For survival. To pay <laughs> me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinet. And it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but lets you be unhappy for a while longer. Moni. Fascinating. They're yours. For my money. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kisaragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. What do I owe this place for? Let's see. He dramatically turns a page in the ledger. Three nights at a tarriage of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. Okay, being dramatic. And the hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work, so don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. You need to get your eyesight checked. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. Oh. You've run a tab of 30 real, actually more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revitrol. That's 60, plus 40, plus 30, 130 real. And yes, real is still money. What are you going to do, arrest me? What happens now? He turns to the lieutenant. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... I believe I have 40 real pennies. Yes, you have 40, 40 pennies. Which is not even one real. Oh, I hate you. Officer, 
Maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. I don't remember where my home is. Officer. A pattern of creases appears on his forehead. You really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Okay. Man wants to say something, then thinks better of it. Good luck. <laughs> Great. Uh, did I do that? <laughs> did I do that? Ooh, blue thought. Blue thought. Blue thought. Fucking come on. There we go. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't there. I really don't remember. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. Near? Up on Marvel Hill? Why did you say that? Lieutenant Kitsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel Hill? No, he thinks for a moment. But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? Are you being a philosopher on me? The same, up on Marvel Hill. A great high place, one that is impossible to climb back to. Oh, so I accidentally made a clever literary joke of some kind. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Uh, could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? Or do you want to be Hobocop? I don't want to be Hobocop, I'm a superstar. <laughs> you can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. That seems important. It'd be nice to have a home, but I'm currently some kind of you superstar. Can do you can do multiple, that's good. Learn some, learn some long way from home. Plus one encyclopedia, factual memory returns. That seems good. That seems healthy thing to try and remember. Yeah. What's this? It's whatever it is, it's mine. Is, is it really just mine? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gart. Question mark. There's a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. How fun. Menu's been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's hand wrote. How long ago did Sylvia leave? Sylvie? I'm oh. guessing yesterday. Did he say that? Well, he's only right this morning. Why the way I'm going to see karaoke? Superstar Cop needs his thing. What's thing? I saw a sign that said the vessel was reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole damn Union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. Are these oh. not the people who just hung the guy outside? Maybe. Well, presume, like, uh, they have been accused. They have been accused. Ah, cool. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit, but they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. They're big shit, not as big as you though, are they, Gart, you fucking wobble chin motherfucker? He gives you a meaningful nod. We should find out who this loud faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We do. Uh, how do we find them, police officer? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. He looks towards the booth. Men are hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. This psych else wanted to talk about. Oh fuck, she pulled on the cable. By the way, you should come back to this thing based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. I didn't see anything else. Karaoke, my dude. Oh fuck. Wait. God. I'm gonna sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. I know, of course I'm gonna do it. Absolutely in the question. <laughs> First we find a sad banger, then we sing this place to shit. We have committed. Your body is ready, sire. Excellent. Okay, bye. Well, I'm glad he's approved. That helps. It does. 
Hell, the door is bolted, read size on kitchen personnel reserved until 3 1. Soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Maybe it's the murderer working on a murder smoothie. Murder smoothie. He needs it to keep his vitamins up. Some the door closed for the winter. How the fuck do I go outside, dickhole? Your place is designed bad. You should feel awful. He's dead. I can't believe he's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. He's so dead that he's snoring. <laughs> Bowl of rum's been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. I ain't fucking... That sugary black rum... Was this purple? It's red. Red. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed of joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? I want to say about two hours. An hour would have been ha bad. Two hours is mystical. You've truly wiped out all trace of yourself if you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. To be honest, I haven't been thinking about it at all. Um, Do you want to try and repair this broken shell of a man? See, I want him to be functional, but not too functional. We're going to be mm. a superstar. Yeah. So you uh, move on to the cocaine, so the drug, the alcohol. Yeah. Or if we're not going to move on to the cocaine, then we at least want to keep some form of drinking, not apocalyptic drinking. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can't get off stage sing karaoke if you don't have a rum and coke in your hand. True. You need something. However, there's no way in fucking hell we'd get one from Gar. Don't think so. I've maybe later. Yes, it's Casual Friday. Maybe later. What is this Casual Friday? What's with the lackadaisical lax man attitude? You used to be passionate about getting your drink on. Show me you're still young. Show me you have the fire in you. Lick that stain off the counter right now. I don't want to lick it. Just to be frank, I don't. <laughs> what happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Okay. Task find booze and drink it. I only want like a you know, beer or something. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to get drunk again. I'm only 26, and I find that being drunk and non-drunk two consecutively really fucking drives me into the floor. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that and function at the very least. I'm not productive. Don't forget to click the orbs around your head. They have surprises. Yeah, like lick the rum off the counter, you greasy fuck. Those kind of surprises. Hello, 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 hello. I just walked down to the road. Stroop sign says, fuck the police. As long as you get tested first. A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. What a waste. Pigs go home. The street name is illegible. I dare say, what do you have to say about this? The RCM in Martinez? What can I help you? The RCM, you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Is that why you're so confident to draw graffiti? Hmm? Is it? It might well be. Of course. What can I help you with? What is this? Fuck the police business. Excuse me? She doesn't understand. This street sign says, fuck the police. Oh. She cranes her neck. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Ah, that's alright, I didn't mean to startle you. Okay. She replies, shoulders relaxing. Who, who are you? Me? I'm just a gardener. Cool. Cool. What are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She gestures over her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done. But... Well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. I would just not work near it at all, frankly. <laughs> Don't worry, miss. We're here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Thank you, she smiles politely. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. I should probably go do that right now. I have to run. Of course, I won't hold you back. 
She wipes her brow with the canary yellow glove. I keep forgetting I have a job to do. Just go do that. Oof, you can do it. You can do it, PC. You can do it. You can do it. Where is this smelly body? There it is. Are you throwing rocks at it, you ugly child? He is indeed throwing rocks at it. Oh, fuck. No, wait. Hang on. I want to have the thought first. I keep forgetting that that's me. It smells like spoiled meat and Colonel Dairy, a human being, decomposes. I appreciate that was a yellow, but I hadn't considered that thought. Wait, no, I was allowed to yellow. Yeah, you I am the yellow. Yeah, Kuno, fuck him up. I'll fuck you up in a minute, you brat. You ready? No. Kuno's got this! Wow, where did you record that line? <laughs> uh, the boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. Did you refer to yourself in the third person, you fucking dork? If there was ever, if there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. He's a fucking gremlin. Oh yeah, never could be Kuno. That does not match. Yells the other kid behind the fence. Hey kid, a word, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Great. Slob it in the dick! I dare say. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Why is he fucking tweaking out? You can explore it further. Yeah, in what direction? I think telling him to stop. Oh, what does that mean? I think. Maybe. Is she just going to take the piss out of me for not understanding fucking homophobic a, slurs? That's not a question for Kuno. Oh, so I'm thinking about it to myself. Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. What's that mean? The kid is obviously high. Stop getting high at my crime scene. <laughs> Fuck that Kuno. Yeah, right in the mouth bowl. What is wrong with you? The shit himself. The fuck is wrong? I mean, Kim, what, what should, Kim, you're a pretty good police officer, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using, pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with these creatures. So a conversation will do nothing. I guess I don't have time for this. Both you suck. I guess I don't really care if, you know, I guess it's not my problem. The letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above descending. This is the logo of the municipality of Rovercock. This is a municipality? I don't know what that is. <laughs> to be completely honest. What is this? What is this? You've got the left trigger as well for highlighting everything. That's true. What is this? <laughs> there are several footprints. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked in. What kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. This isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Does seem like it. Does that increase my chances? No. I, to be fair, you can still carry on and come back to it later. Lieutenant, workers' boot, boot tracks. I keep kicking that monitor. Noted. The lieutenant takes out his little notebook. Let's get an exact count. Go on, bruv. Yeah. Maybe more than twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots have shoveled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one by one. One standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty six. Oof. Okay. 
two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Damn, I'm good at this. Hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, standard work boot, no, 45 or 46. Wait, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prince apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Seems logical. Count more. Five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration, late as air, even pace, same make of boot, but no number 41. Male or female? Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. I don't want to congratulate myself just yet. Count the rest. Seven, the glowing outline of standard work boot, no 46, but the imprints are twice as deep as the other. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. So it's either someone very fucking big, or it was the person who hoisted the guy up into the tree. Hmm. Eight. And yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The rope sole is smoother, more worn. Hmm. How many? The lieutenant has been tracking your eye movements. 400 million. It was an army. It was eight. Oh, I was pretty off then. I counted 20. Same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. He points to his glasses. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Heavy one. 200 kilogram imprint. 200. He thinks for a moment. Could it be the combined weight of two people. One carrying the other who's tied up. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Seems logical. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. It's unlikely, but not impossible. But Could one of I'm pretty sure one of them was carrying him over. Mm -hmm. like, that is a very logical thing to assume. Possibly, yes. The lieutenant Mark sank down in his notebook. Our next up is light step, number 41 shoe. A woman or a kid? Could be a kid. Mm -hmm. There are two kids on the crime scene right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you know? I don't. He knows it's hard to send sex from a person's gate. Yeah, things look at Hosman, but I have no idea any of this is coming from. I'm just gonna say I don't, because that is the truth. Understood. Anything else? An aberration. One soul is smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the odd soul. Odd soul. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal, like a joiner at the harbour, you think for a second. Or maybe a drummer. So it's kind of doing, if it was a lynching, like those are group things. So someone might be getting hype. Playing the drums. Like, da -da 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 -da. Or doing a drum roll. Da -da 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 -da, and then they drop him from the tree. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't a dock worker. So what are the people we're looking for is a drummer? No, it's not. I figure I said it. We're not looking for a drummer. Then why'd you say it? Hmm? He raises his index finger. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out their right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Nod thoughtfully. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, you know? Yes. Prudent. Mm-hmm. The lieutenant writes the information down in his notebook, then reverts to the tracks in the mud. How old do you think these tracks are? A week, maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. God, it is a week old, isn't it? I keep forgetting. We left it for a fucking week. Technically, we left it for four days, but then I f came here and fell asleep. Yeah. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Revacol. Seven days below freezing, the day before the day of his hanging, with the last warm day. Ah. Correct again. Sub zero temperatures preserve, preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. So, what do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Mm -mm -mm. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. But? 
Indeed, they all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Okay, no buts. Well, we've been through all of it. I want to pick up one of those rocks, fucking bean that stupid kid in the head with it. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, after about an hour and a half, that might have to be next time. Okay. Purely because... Back hurts, brain hurts. I need time to process information. Yeah. And I need time to think of ways to dump that little shit in the fucking river. Yeah, that's very true. But, you know, I'll do that another time. Thank you so much for watching. This Toodaloo. game is fucking interesting. There's a lot going on here. It's, it's a lot. It doesn't really feel like there are failures. I mean, there are failures, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels no. like... These are just you know those games where they say, don't save scum. Failure is as interesting as succeeding. Yeah. This is the case where it's actually true. This is the one of the occasions, one of the few occasions, I think, where that's actually a thing. Because, because failure is a it's, part of your character development. It's part of your character development. And there are very few cases where you can fail something and not have a chance to reattempt it. I dig that. Well, we'll have to... Oh, go oh, brain. No, oh, brain. I'm not even doing outro anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, we'll be following up on more leads to try and... It was Kuno. Kuno did it. Fucking Kuno did it. Put him away, little fucking prick. Yeah. Looks like a gremlin. Fucking Kuno is a gremlin. Don't feed him after midnight. Don't feed him. He was fed after midnight. That's why he's it. His fucking brother did it. See you next time. Doodles. Bye. Goodbye.